Hi, my name is Lorena Sadie, and I am the founder and managing attorney here at Sadie Law Group. This is going to be the fourth video in our series about the bankruptcy petition plan and schedules. I'm just trying to explain a little bit more detail for consumers about a, a bankruptcy petition and how the different sections work together. So today we're going to talk about Schedule D. And Schedule D is where we are going to list all of your secured creditors. And this would be where your mortgage would be listed. This would be where your, um, your car, your finance company would be listed. This would be if you have a title loan. This is where the title loan would be listed. If you have a judgment um, against you, that is, a, that is a secure creditor. We would list it there. If you owe HOA dues, that is a secured creditor they would be listed here. Also, um, if you have tax liens, um, the tax liens are going to be listed on Schedule D. So when you file a bankruptcy, your, where your creditors are listed are going to be in Schedule D, which is what we're talking about today. And then next week, we'll talk about Schedule EF, um, which those are unsecured priority and just general unsecured creditors. But for today, we're talking about Schedule D. So when we, when we're, when you're filing a bankruptcy petition, um, you are going to list, um, you know, you're going to list schedule in A, B. These are your assets, so you're going to list all these assets. Now, you list a home. Well, if your home has a mortgage on it, has, you know, has a tax lien on it, property, a tax lien, or it has um, an HOA lien on it, if any of those apply, then on Schedule D is where you're going to list it. So you will reflect each creditor, and then you have to reflect what it is attached to. Um, and of course, you have to list how much is owed to that creditor because that's how the courts are gonna figure out how much equity um, is actually av you know, available from that asset or if you're underwater. Um, you're also gonna reflect if there are any co-signers on that debt. So you know, if you have a, a co-debtor or co-signer on, on a debt, it needs to be listed um, you need to reflect that there, you know, there's a joint account holder. So that information is going to be um, on Schedule D. Also, if you are financing a car, the car should be listed on Schedule A, B, and then on Schedule D is where you're going to list the finance company and the details, the details of your uh, of your loan, um, how much is owed when you when you took out the loan, whatnot. So that's where it's going to be listed. Um, now, if you're leasing a car, um, even if it's just a lease, or you're leasing furniture, um, or you're leasing, I've seen video um, consoles, things like that, still, that's a secured creditor. You want to list you want to list whatever it is that you have on Schedule A, B, and then you want to list on Schedule D the creditor that, you know, that can go and, and, and take that asset if you don't pay. So that's, you know, it's, it's secured with that. So you're going to list that there as well. And even if you have judgments against you that we're going to be able to get rid of in the bankruptcy, they still have to be listed on Schedule D because at the time of your filing, that is a, that's secured because it's turned into a judgment. Um, so that would need to also be listed on Schedule D. If you owe taxes, you need to make sure that the tax liens are also listed there. Um, and you know, tax liens can be kind of tricky and you need to make sure that you review this with your bankruptcy attorney. Um, how are your tax liens going to be treated? Are you gonna be able to actually remove them with the bankruptcy or will there be some balance due? Are they still attaching to some of your assets? And again, that is something that you know, your bankruptcy attorney would need to sit down with you and help you determine you know, what kind of liability you'll, you know, you'll have on those. Um, but that's really it today for Schedule D. Um, you know, it's just one thing, secured, secured claims, but it is very important and you need to make sure it is 100% correct when you file your bankruptcy petition.